that's, that's, uh, the, whole, the whole premise of the bright side is we're not sick, we're starving. And so we want to focus on how to help the body do what it does best. The body kills bacteria, the body kills viruses. You have an immune system that's designed to handle these things. And when you, when you start using antibiotics and antiseptics, yeah, they have their place. I, I'm certainly not, I don't mean to marginalize colloidal silver. It has its place. It's been used more. What is up, Greetings America, and disease. welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program state. dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and, and nutritional supplementation. I am your host, your Pharmacist Ben, Nutritional Pharmacist, 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 Pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado, Colorado Registered Pharmacist number 12275. I specialize in using nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your vitality and health and well-being, and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body, you are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health issue. That is why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 27 years of practice in pharmacy, I've seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes and hypertension, obesity, skin diseases like acne, psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, digestive ailments, Autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle. But what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is a healing system, it's a regenerating system. It is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment basis. And how some folks may call that healing, renewing, regenerating system a miracle. It is truly no miracle at all. It is simply the I'll way quick, the body know, works. Still your time today, if you have questions about health or nutrition or prescription or drugs, we want to hear from you. you we welcome your calls. You know, on the bright side, our number is 855-660-4261. That's 855-660-4261. If you have questions about prescription drugs, you want to get off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we can help you do that. Of course, if you have questions about the longevity products or ingredients or something you may have heard on the news, skin care questions, we're glad to help. 855 660 42. 61 is our number for you guys who want to purchase any of the longevity products that you hear advertised on the bright side or you hear us recommend on the bright side. You can call the bright side then phone team at 866-735-2470. That's 866-735-2470. You can also head over to my website, brightsideben.com, and you can click on the Buy Now link to find all the longevity products up there. Or you can also click on the Join the Team link if you want to start a longevity business for a one-time $10 Fee. You can enjoy all of the tax benefits associated with having your own business. You can write off your sample products. You can write off your mileage, write off your home office. Of course, you can get your products at the wholesale price, too. And you can just help spread the word about the power and the importance of a good nutritional supplement program and make some money while you're doing it. Click on the Join the Team link at BrightSideBend.com or you can call the BrightSide Bend phone team at 866-735-2470 and they can tell you all about it. And I also want to encourage you to check out my blog, Pharmacy. Ben.com, which we update regularly with news stories, as well as blog posts. Thank you to my webmaster, Robert Lundgren. Appreciate your work, Robert, very much. All right, here in the Austin area, I also want to remind you that I'll be doing a talk at Harlan's uh, Brave New Books for Harlan. Uh, if you're in the Austin area, I know we've got a lot of listeners in Austin. I'd love to see you guys come by and say hi. That'll be this Thursday, the 23rd of January, and I'm pretty sure it's at 7 p.m., but I'll get you more info on that uh, tomorrow. Uh, Brave New Books in Austin, Texas this Thursday. Hope to see you out there. Okay, we are talking about the most abundant amino acid in the body, a super important supplemental amino acid, one of my favorite supplements. Uh, it has a little bit of a dark side, and there's some folks who are saying that you might not want to supplement with glutamine. I don't buy into that. We'll talk about that here in a little bit. Glutamine, the supplement, uh, this amino acid, the most abundant amino acid in the body, glutamine, really, really important as a fuel source. Cells can derive energy from glutamine like they do from glucose, as we said on our last program. That makes glutamine really helpful for sugar cravings. You can actually get energy. Cells can get energy from glutamine as they can from glucose, but glutamine doesn't really affect insulin as much as glucose. It might affect it a little bit, but certainly not as much as glucose does. 
I've never that means gluten meat's great for diabetics. I hear if you're trying to wean yourself off of bread or pasta or sweets, if you just have that kind of hypoglycemia, low blood sugar kind of feeling in the middle of the day, glutamine can help. Glutamine is the primary source of fuel for all rapidly dividing cells. That means cells of the immune system, that means cells of the skin, and it means cells of the digestive tract. Glutamine is awesome for all digestive tract issues. Even folks who don't believe in supplementing with glutamine have to concede that if you're dealing with leaky gut syndrome or any kind of breakdown in the digestive lining, digestive tract, glutamine can be one of your best supplemental friends. If you think of this, digestive tract is a long tube similar to a garden hose. The intestinal cells would make up what would be the lining of the garden hose. Outside the garden hose would, would be your blood and the, uh, and the contents of the garden hose, which in the case of our digestive tract garden hose, would be the food. So you got food going down the garden hose, going down, down the digestive tract, we're calling it a garden hose, and that food is separated from nothing about the skin part of the digestive tract, the outside part of the garden hose, only by digestive lining cells. Outside the digestive tract, or digestive tract slash garden hose, you get the blood. And the only barrier between the food we eat and the blood are these enterocytes, these intestinal cells. That makes these intestinal cells really, really, really important. Remember, the blood is the sacred space. Nothing gets into the blood unless it's been processed and purified and, and cleared as not being an enemy. And the bouncers, the guards, the guardians of the blood are the intestinal cells, the enterocytes. They form a wall. They form a barrier between food that we eat and the blood. The blood is the holy of holies. The blood is a sacred space of the body, and nothing, absolutely nothing, is supposed to get into the blood unless it's been fully processed. When our enterocytes, when our intestinal cells, which are Curious running on glutamine, next. let me say that next again, the these things are important, and they're running on glutamine. Discover your house has been when the intestinal, uh, enterocytes, the intestinal cells are healthy, we eat our food. You asked for it. Enzymes and acids and various and digestive chemicals act on our hamburgers and our steaks and our pasta and our peanut butter and jelly sandwich, whatever we're eating. When the foods get broken down into their component the parts, amino acids, of vitamins, TV, minerals, glucose, triglycerides, fats, and then and only then, only after the foods that we eat have been broken down into their constituent parts, into their smallest parts, then and only then intestinal cells and pterocytes will suck those those nutrients up, and then they will get released into the blood very carefully and in a very, in a very regulated fashion. However, when these intestinal cells, when these enterocytes that line our garden hose, that line our intestinal tract or digestive tract garden hose, when these enterocytes become weakened, big problems follow. I would probably tell you that almost all degenerative diseases, cancer, arthritis, diabetes, diabetes, Parkinson's disease, autoimmune disease, especially autoimmune diseases, all of these things involve on some level messed up enterocytes, messed up intestinal cells. This is where gluten acts, by the way. Gluten acts to muck up these intestinal cells. In fact, not just gluten, but a lot of plant material. This is a major weapon, a major defensive mechanism for plants. They, they manufacture chemicals that disrupt or disturb enterocytes. These chemicals are called lectins, we talked about them, and gluten is just one, but it's a classic example of a plant defensive molecule, chemical warfare made by plants that disturb enterocytes, that disturb intestinal cells, that disturb the lining of our garden.